I know we have an epidemic right now of these large uh, companies buying up houses whenever they can find them uh, to turn into rentals. It seems like it's maybe slowed down a little bit in the last month or two with inflation going up. But um, regardless of inflation, we live in a very uh, attractive part of the country or part of the world, really. People are going to be flowing in to this area to live for the next 20 years. So the leasing is something we're going to have to deal with in our HOAs, um, regardless of what the interest rates are. Do we, does everyone agree that leasing is a problem in HOAs? I think most people do. In fact, we have an authority as strong as the uh, Federal Department of Housing and Urban Development, which specifically states in its guidance documents that it restricts leasing in condominiums. Um, HUD does not control single family homes, single family neighborhoods, has nothing to do with what your restrictions can say, but it does for condominiums. Um, it's taken the position that for FHA loans to be issued for condominiums, it has to approve the condominium documents and it will not approve them if uh, it doesn't like the leasing restrictions, but it actually is in favor of leasing restrictions. So this is one of the few uh, government authorities you're gonna get that actually gives you a reason to support putting leasing restrictions in your community. Uh, the HUD documents say it is FHA, HUD is the uh, greater department, FHA is a department underneath housing and urban development within the federal government. It is the FHA's position that owner occupants serve to stabilize the financial viability of the projects and are less likely to default on their obligations to ownership associations than non-owner occupants. Owner occupants, unlike either investors or renters, are incentivized to cooperate with other unit owners to ensure successful operation of the project. Analysis of FHA's insured condominium portfolio indicates that condominium loans have a lower default rate than other FHA programs, which FHA attributes in part to its project-wide owner occupancy requirements. So they require 50% in most cases of condominiums to be owner occupied. So if somebody's questioning you, why is this important? Well, you have the number one authority uh, in the federal government giving you support of restricting leasing in your community. Uh, so what, what problems does leasing lead to? Well, if there are too many leases, it can reduce your property values in your neighborhood. Nobody wants that, right? Um, even if it's, uh, you know, a, a, a home is leased and kept up well, um, those leases um, will bring, can bring down the property values in the overall community if there are too many of them. Um, next, of course, it's a problem if tenants don't behave, right? We all have uh, probably encountered traffic issues, parking, noise, uh, sort of the revolving door effect of tenants checking in and out, especially in condominiums or townhomes. That's a problem because uh, the moving of furniture and things in and out causes damage. Uh, so I don't think there's any question that those are real effects. Um, also, in some communities, um, that may be a gated community or where you have fobs for the pool or uh, where you're maybe closer knit, for example, condos or townhomes, um, there is, could present a security problem because you're having to give out codes or things to people that aren't actually people that live there. And then uh, some communities feel like uh, it reduces the exclusiveness uh, of their community if, if people can rent. So those are some of the issues. Um, that lead people to want to reduce leasing in their neighborhoods. 